I probably could have been a doctor or a lawyer, but hip hop employed me, and now I'm a beat destroyer. Who was I fooling? I wanted to be a. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the culture. I'm Heart and Soul. And first thing first, I'm going to start doing these videos a little differently. I'm going to do one week would be shoe culture. The next week would be geek culture. So we I can have more time to do what I want in a particular video without running over and trying to squeeze everything condensely. So that's what's going to be the deal from now on. And this week we're talking shoes. Um, December 14th, uh, the these bad boys released. The Jordan 11 Breads. Very popular shoe, a classic, a must have, no matter who you are. If you collect sneakers, you try to get these. Now, the reason I want to make this video, because while I was in line um, at Finish Line here in Finley, there was an altercation with the store manager and a lady coming to pick up her shoes. And it was also another gentleman with him, uh, with, with the lady. And it was crazy. Very, she got very irate very quickly. <laughs> Wasn't really listening to what the manager was trying to say. Just more was trying to prove a point of what she wanted to be her first. And it caused an uproar. You know, um, security was called. The lady, she tried to, I don't want to say run, but she tried to leave the area before security came just in case, but whatever. Um, and yeah, that was that was kind of sad to me because one thing I think every sneakerhead knows and something that we try to bring in is like, when it comes to the, the sneaker game, when it comes to getting your shoes, you take L's. You know, the lady, the manager wasn't saying that you weren't going to get your shoes. She was just saying you have to wait in line to get your shoes. Apparently, um, our store filling uh, raffle system was hacked. So everybody who won the raffle still got their shoes. She just wanted people to get in line in order to retrieve them. And the young lady wasn't hearing that part. And she made a bigger spectacle than what it needed to be. Shoes make people go crazy, especially when you're in the game. And that's why I wanted to make this video. So I did a little research and it's always been crazy. Um, I wrote some stuff down, so bear with me, couldn't remember it all. It's kind of a lot. But in 1989, Michael Thomas, a ninth grader at Medell Senior High School, was shot and killed by 17-year-old James David Martin. He killed him over uh, Jordan as it was just out for two weeks. That's just sad to me, you know. Um, 2011, <laughs> you know, was a very crazy time. The Jordan uh, con uh, Concourse just dropped all over the nation. There was different riots, different fights, different things of that of, of, of that nature. And it was the first real black smudge on the sneaker culture. Um, a lady left her two toddlers in the car to go retrieve the shoes. When she came back, she was arrested by the police and charged with child endangerment, which she should have been. In Jersey, a lady was stabbed several times for the exact same shoe um, at a different location, of course. Ah, oh, God, where where else was there? Um, it was crazy that this particular shoe has released multiple times. The first time it was released was in 1995. Uh, after that, it was 2000, 2006, 2011, 2014, 2018. And someone lost their lives for a shoe that was going to come back. A study showed that 1,200 people, a study in 2015 showed that 1,200 people lose their lives every year over shoes. 1,200. Mind you, this is 2015. This study was done. Um, 2014, Jose Mardez 
was killed outside of his barbershop trying to purchase a pair of Yeezys. Um, June 2015, a teen with special needs was gunned down in front of his mother because he refused to give up his shoes. It later turned out that the boy was artistic and was just scared, and he lost his life. 2014, December 23rd, a uh, Dayton teen was killed over shoe envy. <laughs> December 18, 2017, James Anthony Smith is killed over his Jordan 11s that his mother gave him as an early Christmas gift because his grades were beyond what she wanted. November 2017, Jose Medell was killed in front of his children and at his home trying to defend them against shoe thieves. 2017, the New York Police Department connected a string of Facebook meetups uh, was done by the where fa yeah, Facebook meetups where, where they was robbing people for their shoes, all done by the same group of people. Is <sighs> September, <laughs> September 22nd, 2019, Trey Lawns, a 14-year-old boy, is gunned down at his home over a shoe argument. <sighs> October 17th, 2019, a DC firefighter, and let me get his name right, Davel Alfred Moore, 25 years old, robs a man over his shoes, who was later picked up and now facing 25 years in prison. December 14, 2019, the Jordan 11 breads are released. In Atlanta, of a shopping mall in Atlanta, a teen is shot in the food court, allegedly over shoes. There's also been a fight reported in Chicago, a shooting in Dallas, and I want to say that's it that I'll, that I'll like to find. I don't want to say shoes is the reason why, why people are killing. That's not true. Because if you've been paying attention to anything, people have been dying for Popeye's chicken. <laughs> people have been dying for road, um, road rage. So I'll, I don't want to be the person that says shoes are the reason People are going crazy and killing. It's not true. I had to talk with my barber today, you know, and me and him talked about a few things. You know, granted, I didn't, I didn't find a lot of data about the 90s, but the 90s was a very bad time. There was a point where if you were British Nikes, because the initials of that was BK, most blood members could consider that as a crib shoe and then would rob or kill you over you wearing that particular shoe. Jordan, when he played for the Bulls, a lot of his colorways were red and white. And rival gangs would kill some blood moves for wearing that particular shoe. People do messed up shit every day. But you cannot blame a shoe no more than you can blame Budweiser for a bar fight. People do messed up things. And me, I love the shoe culture. I love tennis shoes. I love sneakers, whatever y'all call them, whatever region y'all seeing this from. There's a lot of things that I will fight for and die for. These will never be one. Nor would I take a life for it. Same thing most people won't shoot or fight over a chicken sandwich or fight or kill someone because they bump you and you spill your drink. I come from an area where a lot, a lot of fights were started because somebody stepped on someone's shoes. It's not, that's not the initial reason they do it. I grew up very poor. I had nothing. My mom bust her butt to give us every little thing that we had. But these shoes were a stable of who you were. At the Christmas, you come in with the best shoes. You was a popular kid. I came in with Everlast from Payless. 
and I was always picked on. I was always chased home. That's just how it was. I also read that there's really a lot of teens and, you know, even preteens who are doing a lot of these shootings and, and killings and fightings. And it's because they want that same, I feel, they want that same type of, of stable where I'm good. Look what I have. It gets no better as you get older. I'm still buying shoes for that 11-year-old kid in the sixth grade who got teased for nothing. So I guess that's my profession. No life is worth something that is synthetic. No life is worth a sandwich. And as rational people, we understand that. But a lot of people don't. So please don't say the reason why all these shootings and killings is over shoes alone. It's not completely true. They may they may saw it as that moment, but it was it's a lot more built behind it. So even with all the reports I gave y'all and all the the uh, research I did on my own, I still love my shoe culture. Because the ones who are do do it right and understand it would never take a life or even fight for it. We take our L's and then we keep going. So, yeah. So, with that being said, I'm out of here, y'all. Remember, don't go with the flow. Be the flow. Peace.